Hey everyone, uh, this is AA25, and in this video, this two part video, I will show you how to jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch. Now, this method of jailbreaking will let you use Snow Breeze to create a custom firmware, which is useful because then for iPhones that are not being used under authorized carriers, you can activate and unlock your phone. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two part one videos, one for the iPhone on how to make an iPhone custom firmware and another one on how to make an iPod custom firmware so there's no problems in how to make these firmwares. Anyway, let's begin. So first, in the description you need to download Snow Breeze Lite 3.1.2 and you need to download the firmwares on the side on the uh, description uh, based on your device. Also, after you do that, you will need to update your iPod or iPhone to 3.1.2 firmware to um, update everything. You know what I mean. Anyway, let's begin. So first, in this video, we'll make teach you how to make an iPhone custom firmware. So when you open Snowbreeze, for, uh, whenever you open Snowbreeze, it will give you with this message that says, this software is not for commercial use, blah, blah, blah. Just hit OK to that. And then it will say, welcome to Snowbreeze Lite. Please get all your files ready and click next to continue. So next is in the bottom right corner, which is basically the blue arrow. You click on it. Now it's going to ask you what mode you want to use. For these tutorials, we will let you do expert mode because you can do stuff like as in boot logos, root partition size, etc, etc. Just click on that and then click arrow to continue. Now I want you to select your firmware that you downloaded. So after you download your firmware, click on the browse in Snow Breeze. Navigate to where you downloaded your firmware. I see here I downloaded one iPhone, one iPod Touch. But since this video is for iPhone, I'll select the iPhone 1. Hit open. It will process the firmware. This does take a while. Done. So I recognized it as an iPhone 2G firmware, which is what it is. Then it says IPSW verified. Click next to continue. Click on the blue arrow. Next, you come up with a bunch of options. We will start by clicking general and clicking the blue arrow, and then it works your way through every uh, thing you can uh, set up. And you don't have to like get to this menu, click something, click next every time you want to change something. So anyway, click on general, click the blue arrow. Now it gives you the root partition options, which is the following. Activate the iPhone, make IPSW NOR only, add Snowbreeze iPhone app, and then root partition size. So first we'll start with activate the iPhone. If your iPhone is not on an official cell phone carrier that Apple allows to sell iPhones on, then you will want to check it. If you bought your phone from like AT&T and it's already activated, don't check the option. For this case, I'll keep the option checked. Make IPSW NOR only does not apply to us since we're jailbreaking. It's only for people who want to change their boot logos without losing all their uh, data. So it doesn't apply to us. As Snowbreeze iPhone app, we don't need this. It's kind of pointless. And then repartition size. Basically, the iPhone iPod touches, their disk drive is put into two partitions. A smaller one with all the firmware files, etc. Another one is where all your apps, music, videos, whatever that you can uh, put through on your iPod or iPhone through iTunes. I always keep my root partition size normal because most of the time Cydia and a bunch of other apps they usually uh, use the other partition, the bigger one, not the smaller one, so I always leave that normal. After you configure your options here, you can click the blue arrow. Next is unlocks. For I, so my device is an iPhone 2G and then it says please just select the unlock option that applies to your device and then click next to continue. So there's two options, there's the iPhone 2G and then the iPhone 3G and 3GS. I'm using an iPhone 2G firmware, so I'll select this. But I should tell you what an unlock is first of all. Unlock basically allows your phone to, your phone whenever you buy it from for example AT&T you'll only be able to use SIM cards from AT&T. That means your phone is locked to your carrier provider. To unlock it means you can use a SIM card from any provider, any uh, cell phone provider, and use it as your phone. 
I need my phone unlocked since I have a 2G. So I will select boot neuter. I'll have a green arrow beside it. And then you click next in the bottom right corner. Next is installers. City is already checked. Rock is really pointless. So keep city at check. Just keep installers the way it is. Custom apps, you don't really need to do this. Uh, custom boot logos, you can put your own custom boot logos if you want. They already, um, op the options to use custom boot logos are already checked. I don't like these, so I uncheck them. It already gives you uh, two, like, snow type ones, like snow breeze ones. If you want to use your own, you have to create a picture with the following uh, stuff. So it must be only a PNG file and it must have a dimension of 320 by 480 pixels and then it must be limited to 100 kilobytes per boot logo and each one must have at least one transparent pixel if you're a photoshop type of person you probably be able to do this I have no idea how to do this so usually I just go on Google and search for boot logos if I ever want them and I guess that's what most of you guys will do so just do that after you've done this click next now you're done you have configured all the options you can have for your custom IPSW. So now click on build IPSW. The check mark will move back to that. Then you're going to click next. Now I warn you, this process is a long process. It takes 5 to 10 minutes. Um, so yeah. So we continue. And now it's going to say click start when you're ready make, to make the, your IPSW. I won't press start as I already have a custom firmware on there. But uh, you guys click start. It will go through everything, then it will say process completed. Then I will describe what you do after you create your IPSW in the part 2 video that you guys should watch next. I hope this helps you so far in your jailbreaking. Any question, comments at this up to this point, you could just uh, put a comment to me. Thanks.